Right, so we've done some footage in the past that I'm going to add to this video specifically. What we're going to do is we're going to take you around Carrefour, but we're going to take you around the hypermarket, which is quite a big one. The amount of stuff and range in here is huge. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. That's the Ponto. So this carry for Habanero shopping centres over there. CB905 in towards the uh, motorway and Ciudad Casadas over that way. When you pick the trolleys up, spot the tag. That means it's been sanitised and it's ready for use. Yeah. When, oh, we, what go, I... when we go in, they'll take the tag off. So they know it's been used. Yeah. They've got a sign there on the door. Can you see that saying that everything that you buy has been disinfected? So down there you've got customer services, you've also got a lottery shop and a few other shops is a cosmetic place that's advertised here, they're over that way as well. Uh, Jewelry. Clothing, phone access with opticians. The cap is closed, obviously. And I've got this as you come in. Shows you your maximum permitted occupancy. Cool. So as you can see, the disinfect inside and out of the clothes. Carry for also have like a sort of a loyalty group like you might get a Tesco club card you can get a carry for club card you collect points on it and they, every every so often you'll get a check with a, a money off coupon you need to be careful with the offers in here so some of the some of the stuff that you can get it says three for two and you get so much back but it's actually in the form of a check for horror so like a, a coupon that you can use in the future so it's not necessarily going to knock off your, um, your your bill here and there On the run up to summer, they also have a really large selection of sort of garden furniture, barbecues, solar lights, plants, and all things like that, which is changed seasonally. So at Christmas, you'll have Christmas presents and Christmas trees and things instead. Usually, when we need laptops for work and things like that, I'll actually just come in here and get them because it's usually okay to pick them up, job done, away we go. The washing machines and all sorts, and a lot of the stuff they'll do delivery as well. On some of the bigger, more expensive items as well, you can actually get um, 10 months interest free credit if you want to. The other things you'll get in here. You know, black dogs, but this is a bit like uh, decent sized Tesco back in the UK. You can get to that, everything in here. Although, one thing I know you can get in here that you probably saw to get in Tesco's is bloody car tyres. I kid you not. euros for a tire, Jesus Christ. Probably some, uh, I'd say some chart, but actually if you look, Pirelli. But you'll also buy in here, they've got a section where, for instance, I'll swing it around in a second, you can buy scooters, electric scooters, push bikes, you name it, it's all here. 
If you drop right, you come past it quite easily on offer. So, you know, cap food and stuff like that, you can get like second unit, 50%, 70% off, or you get on three for two, that sort of thing. A lot of your brands that you get in the UK, you'll get here. Whiskies and that sort of thing for pet food, anyway. Just like everything for your own, just like you're getting, you know, a big one in the UK. One of the only things that you can't buy in Carrefour, and in fact you can't buy it in any supermarket at all in Spain, is medication. Not even a paracetamol or an aspirin or a cough mixture. The only places that you can buy things like that is in a pharmacy. You can actually buy fresh cooked ready meals here at Carrefour. Um, and like fresh cooked chickens and paella and things like that. They've also got a fresh bakery counter where you can get the fresh bread. Don't be fooled into thinking these are spring onions if you see them to sale when you're shopping in Carrefour because they're actually garlic. So you'd have a bit of a shock if you put those on your salad. I've tried some of these in the past and they're okay. Not my favourite thing, these olives. I'd rather get the ones in the tins. I'm not, I didn't start eating olives until I got here, to be honest. Also, some dried tomato. Uh, Peppers, Walmarts. Now we've had one of the previous ones. You can see that we had. So I know how we're buying packs, and the prices vary. For the legs, so you buy a complete leg. Apparently, the best ones are the Iberico ones that are fed on acorns, um, and they could be like mega bucks. You can see here, look, I mean, I've had them before in the past. You can see that you've got all the different grades, different prices, and you've got the different different type here. The cheapest legs that I've seen, although not necessarily now, have been in the region of about 38. You see some there, look. Uh, look, 39 euros. This is a this company makes shed loads of uh, meat products here in Spain. And typically, you'll not put them in the fridge. You'll leave them on the side, do a tea towel over the top of them, and you're better off if you can cut it nice and thin. Get your cheese and your shampoo to your deli counter, basically. Random things. Henry. This can be a bit off-putting at Christmas. Yeah. You're walking around and the fridges and freezers are full of um, shrink wrap, suckling pigs. Suckling pigs. So as you can see, you get a leg of lamb for 19.90 kilo. How about prices? The steaks can be quite cheap. You're 10.50 kilo for entry cotton and chili tongue. And the amount of, uh, I mean, these are some of the stuff that you can get with local, different types of sausages and stuff. But in here, you'll also find that they've got uh, international section, which is over there. I'll do that in a second.
see these. I always thought these were actually baby eels, but they're made out of surumi, so it's a bit like there's some of the stuff they use for making uh, crab sticks out of. Mattresses, beds, yeah, all sorts of stuff in here. That's the uh, fresh fish counter. They'll they'll prepare the fish for you, you know, dehead it, debone it, fillet it, um, descale it as well. These when they were offered as well. Blinding. Big pepper, chili flakes. Um, really good. A lot of international cheeses, so you get you can get cheddar in that in here. We tend to get it from Mercadona because it's they do a mature cheddar with Mercadona that's uh, good price and it's tasty. So the international section. I don't know why they've got layers as British crisp, but they're basically more crisp. But in this one, as well as the English, you've got uh, Japanese. Argentinian, Chilean, South American, because there's a lot of South Americans here. You can get your American stuff. Ain't cheap though. Now, interesting. You've got Patax as Asia, but it's actually British. Fresh milk as popular, but Jesus, how many different types of milk can you get? Different types of nuts. Now in England, my favourite crisps, I would say are probably Brannigan's beef and mustard. Here, Jesus Christ, how many different flavours can you get? Best ones over here, paella flavour, love them. But also, ham and egg flavour, weird. Also here, by the way, get the uh, sushi counter. See, little shops in here. So that's a little jaunt around Carrefour, the hypermarket here in Torrevieja. Generally speaking, we do most of our food shopping either here at Carrefour or at Mercadona. But another video. That's another video, yeah. So don't forget if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you've not liked it, give us a thumbs down. Uh, and we love comments, so any comments you've got, stick them in the box down below. Even if they're a bit critical, we'll actually yeah. criticise too. Why not? Apart from that, that's it. Yeah. Sun shining, beautiful day. And don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe and ring that bell. bell. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto.